I asked my team and I asked my friends on Instagram, what are they most scared of cooking? And a lot of answers came in like you would expect, right? Brisket is really intimidating and scary. Maybe big beef ribs because they're really expensive. A prime rib for the holidays. So I thought maybe we can tackle some of those big scary things. But my favorite answer that came in that was actually the most scary to me, plant-based burgers. I've never had one of these. They've been all over the place. I have been staunchly opposed to them generally. Uh, but if we're gonna cook something we're afraid of cooking, this has got to be it. So let's make some plant-based burgers. And at the end, I'm gonna make everybody try them. So you guys gotta hang out and uh, see what the Hey Grill Hey team thinks of the plant-based burger. Let's do it. All right, since I have no idea how to cook these, I'm referring to the instructions on the back. Luckily, they are short. It says, preheat pan or grill to medium high. We are doing these on charcoal grill because I think whatever additional flavor that I can impart, I will be grateful for. Cook about two minutes per side to desired level of doneness. Fully cooked one interior is 160. So very similar instructions to beef, but I am a little confused like, can you cook an impossible burger to medium doneness? Like, are there levels of doneness for a plant-based burger? Or should we just cook them to 160? I, I don't know. I was just gonna go two minutes per side and call it. That's the closest I think I can get to approximating a regular beef cook. It does not smell beefy. Now I was uh, stuck in a little conundrum. I didn't know if I should season these with beef rub or fish and veggie rub. But um, I think we're gonna go with beef rub. It says they're seasoned, but also it just feels like a good idea, right? To season them with beef rub. I think it will help, is all I'm saying. So packaged better than Santa's Christmas presents. I'm gonna pop these season side down, season the reverse side, and go two minutes per side. We are gonna get some beautiful footage of these not beef burgers cooking on this grill. I'm also gonna toast off a couple buns because I am doing everything that I can to help this situation. And toasted buns make everything better. The release was pretty good. Hey! Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. These look pretty good. They do not smell like beef. Okay. I mean about two minutes per side. And they look good. I mean, we've got some toasty edges. They held together pretty well on the grill. I mean, really simple cook. It went really quickly. Now everybody has to come in, dress their burgers, and it's time for the taste test. Well, can we use, I mean, are we keeping it vegan? No. I mean, the buns aren't use vegan. Use whatever condiments you want. All right, oh. we got Todd's gonna make one. Dan, Dan from Learning to Smoke is yes. here hanging out today. What's up? Check out his channel if you haven't. He's gonna eat one of these. And Brandon, you gotta come make and eat one too. Oh, I Gang, did. everybody has to do this. Our Extra weird, mayo. perfect burgers. <laughs> Which one's mine? Can I have can I have this one? Yep, yep, that one's yours. Scoot down, Todd. Okay, let's let's scooch in here. I'm gonna let's go with tight. some zesty gold on mine. Dress up your burgers however you would normally take your burger, I say. Extra onions, we gotta really all this thing yeah up. we're going loaded burger here Ooh. pickles on the bottom i actually oh, wait do i need lettuce on this no i yeah i just put a lot of vegetables on this so how many servings of vegetables does this count this as? is too many a whole salad's worth no, you want I'll some, try of that? some of that why not okay yeah. we're doing this so you don't have to um oh or maybe you want to mark get set go It's not horrible. Yeah, I'll take another bite. Yeah, I don't hate that. It feels like a burger because this is a burger experience, but the actual texture and flavor of it is not very burgery. Texture's weird. I'm miffing, missing that beef flavor. I want an unadulterated bite, like just of the patty. Yeah, just that's mm -hmm. what I'm doing. I'm just getting some of the patty. I'm loving everything else that complements it, like the brioche bun, the pickles. The texture, awesome. like, in my hand. It like, looks like beef. You could fool me. But when you put it in your mouth, it doesn't feel like beef. Or tastes like it. It's a trip. I feel like I'm in the freaking twilight zone right now. The beef rub's good on it, huh? 
Beef rub is a good addition. Charcoal's good on it. Flavor's Oops. not bad. It's the texture. No. Yeah. The flavor of the patty itself isn't bad, but it doesn't taste like beef. I think you could fool your dad with this one, though. I bet I could fool people. If people didn't know this not was an impossible dad. burger. Your dad. I think you could sneak some people by on this. That would be an, maybe an April Fool's holiday joke. Someone who's like, so impossibly ant, like anti-vegan, like give them this as a joke and see what, see if they can tell, because I don't think they could. Yeah, that's offensive. No, nope. it's fine, but I'm done eating. I'm not eating any more of that. Yeah, the pickles and the zesty. Dan's gold. gonna eat his whole burger. I'm just hungry. The pickles and the zesty gold is the best part of that whole experience, mm -hmm. and the beef rub. Okay, listen, yeah. we did this for you. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't be sad to get one of these, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's pretty good. Don't unsubscribe. It is not beef, don't leave us. We love beef too. Uh, hope, hopefully you guys can cook something that scares you. This was actually a pretty fun little experiment. Let me know what you're scared of cooking the most in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!